Hello everyone, today I'm going to load Virtual Machine Hypervisor ESXi onto a thumb drive. It's a Corsair Slider X2. There we go. This Dell PowerEdge R710 has the capability of plugging in a thumb drive internally into this machine. And not only can you plug this thumb drive in internally into this machine, you can also make it bootable. So I'm going to install this thumb drive into this server. And what I'll do is I'm going to install hypervisor onto this thumb drive. In order to do that, I have actually loaded hypervisor onto another thumb drive, which is bootable. And once I boot off of this drive, I will install it onto this thumb drive. So let's go ahead and get the top back on. I'm going to power it up. Before I power it up, let me go ahead and plug in my bootable VMware ESXi hypervisor. And I'm going to go ahead and power on the server. The Corsair thumb drive is showing up under hard disk along with the RAID controller. And the thumb drive that in that inserted in the front panel is showing up here under front USB. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this, which is going to boot off of the ESX, ESXi bootable thumb drive that I made earlier. I'm going to go ahead and run this installer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to continue. F11 to accept and continue. And here we have our options for which device we can install the hypervisor. So I want to install it on the Corsair. And we have the option here for the Corsair Voyager. So I will select this and press enter. Enter once more to confirm. US default, I am in the USA. I will give it my password. This disk will be repartitioned. F11 to install. And we are installing ESXi 6.5 on my Dell PowerEdge R710. Enter to reboot. During this reboot, I will unplug the bootable ESXi 6.5 installer that I have here. And I may have to get into the BIOS and configure it to boot from USB instead of the the hard drives.
I'm gonna go ahead and enter the setup and check. I'm gonna go ahead and enter setup and check my bootable devices. If USB is not set as priority, I'm gonna go ahead and set that so it'll always boot from the from USB. That way it'll always boot into ESXi every time the server is rebooted or powered up. All right, let's look for boot settings, boot sequence, and I'm going to set it for the Corsair Voyager first. Double check that. And it's there. And let's go ahead and save and exit. And we should boot off of the Corsair Voyager thumb drive that I've installed internally. Here it is, it's booting off of the Corsair thumb drive that I installed internally into this machine. And it's actually pretty fast. It worked. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, static IP and access this from my PC in my office. I may have to press F2 to customize. Key in my password. So I'm gonna go into my office and try to connect to that IP via the VMware client after I reboot this server. <laughs> 